Hi everyone, I hope everyone has an amazing day. In today's build, we're gonna build this nice looking chessboard just simply using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So, without any further ado, let's jump into the build and see how simple it is. So, before we jump into the video, please don't forget to like this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe in order to see more future contents. So, I've created a simple project on VS Code and I named it chessboard-youtube and now uh, we are inserting our index HTML our basic elements of course oops sorry I missed the letter L let's put it inside okay I put it my style.css file inside let's put one more putting my app.js file okay and not just putting my exclamation mark pressing tab and then everything is going automatically I'm going to link my style.css file inside my index.html okay I'm sorry I'm linking my JavaScript file app.js okay and now here I'm going to create only one uh, simple thing, which is going to be my board div. And inside this board div, I'm going to create uh, two UL elements. Pressing tab. Okay, I'm going to give them separate class names. The first will be my numbers, which are going to seen from the left side of the board and this is going to be my letters which is going to seen at the bottom of the board letters okay that's all for index.html file and let's move for style.css file okay now let's jump out inside my style.css file and write the basic stylings of margin zero, padding zero, and box sizing border box, which represents for the global stylings and gonna remove every single margin and padding inside our every single element. Let's style our board. Let's put here everything side by side. And say the comprehension. We are styling our board. Display grid. Grid column templates. It's going to be repeat. Our board, it's uh, eight plus eight, uh, my, uh, it's uh, eight times eight, which remain, remains uh, that our game board will have 64 squares inside. I'm gonna repeat for eight times the, the column and we're gonna have the width of 80 pixels. And then I'm gonna position it to absolute And it's going to have the value of top 50. It's going to be left 50%. I'm going to give it transform. Translate of minus 50% and minus 50% once again with comma between. Okay, it's going to get the width of 640 pixels because it's uh, 8 times. 8 and it's going to get the gate of 640 pixels which is 8 times 8 again once again and it's going to get the border of one pixel solid black okay let's save it and let's see what we have in our hands this is our game board but we didn't finish yet let's move on let's move on 
now let's uh, style our squares I'm closing it to the side okay put it a little bit back each square we have the height of 80 pixel and it will get the width of 80 pixel and we have the border of black one pixel solid black that's great let's put another class here which i'm going to use inside my javascript file in order to determine if the square's background is black or white now i'm gonna style my number stiff i'm gonna say position absolute let's take it a little bit up it will get the display value of flex and we get the flex direction column reverse it's going to display all the numbers from top to bottom in reverse direction from 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 from the top to the bottom and I'm going to give the align center and justify content space around I don't want them to stick at the bottom or at the top we're going to get the height of 640 which is our board games height and the width of 50 and it's going to stick out of the game board I'm going to give the body of minus 50 pixels I'm going to give also my font size of 2 RAM The font weight will be bold and of course my uh, list style will be none I don't want any dot or something to, to be presented to my letters okay let's copy everything inside here and do the same styling mostly to our letters div Let's move a little bit to the top, but I'm going to change several values inside here. It's absolute. It's display. I'm going to remove this flex direction. It's a line center. It's again space around the height will be 50. The width will be 640. The left value will be zero. And of course, this will be displayed at the bottom of our game board. And we get the minus 50 pixels. Okay. The font size is 2 RAM, font weight RAM. Okay. Let's now move on to our JavaScript file and continue our programming. Now, here I'm getting the game board by saying document that query selector the board. Okay, I'm getting also my const. numbers document dot query selector I'm getting my numbers diff with single M I'm getting also my letters diff my sync document dot query selector once again and this is my letters okay 
here I'm gonna determine my boolean value of true for my white square or its black square after that here I'm getting my letter string array which is going to be displayed at the bottom of my board a b c d e f g yeah and h of course and now i'm creating a loop state for displaying the squares for loop i i is less and equal to 64 because we're gonna have 64 squares inside our board and now i'm creating an element namely square let's say document that create element it's gonna be a div okay and I'm going to give a style to it, class list. Dot add square. That's great. And I'm going to make an if statement. And I'm going to say if not white, if it's false, white value is false, then square dot class list dot add black and after that I'm going to turn the boolean value to the opposite of its current value which means if it's true I'm going to make it to the opposite it's going to turn to false. If it's false, it's going to turn to true. And then I'm going to make another if statement with modulus mathematic insight. And if I say the i value when it's divided to 8 remains to 0, then turn one time the value of true false or from false to true because if it's uh, hitting the i value hitting the value of 8 we have to jump to the down row that means we have to determine once again if the row if the square is white or black and after all that game board append child We are adding our square inside our board. Let's press. Yes, we are getting an error. Let's have a quick look. Okay, when I come back to my index.html file, I see that I have uh, misspelling the unsorted list class, which is going to make an nonsense to the program in order to determine if it's uh, div true or not. I'm going to give the correct class name and I'm going to name it class numbers and I'm going to remove here my testing diff which I said before and let's see if it's okay now I think it's in order and let's move on and make the styling for our letters and numbers I'm going to make another for loop also this div I'm here back again at my app.js file make another for loop say i equals to 1 i is less and equal to 8 then loop I increase the value for 1 and then let number list item I'm creating an element here create element I'm going to make a list item I'm 
number list item class list dot add no nothing no any addition to class list I'm sorry I'm gonna say text equals to i numbers dot open child number li list item let's see what's going on we add all the numbers at reverse sequence from 8 to 1 from top to bottom I mean let's also move on and uh, add the letters I'm creating one more element and I'm say it name it letter li list item I say document dot create element list item letter list item gets the text content from letter which we made the string and for each character I'm gonna look at inside which is gonna make i minus one that means our index starts from zero and goes until the seven we have eight the count is eight but because the index is starting from zero we have to count it for seven times and then letters append child letter list item and I save it and here we go that was so simple our board is like this I hope you like it if you stay until the end of the video congratulations to you and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel until then bye bye